Hello Windows Experience, today I'm going to test a Windows operating system. Every last Friday of the month, I will uh, test a Windows operating system that is released by Microsoft. Or later by Apple, but we have a lot of Windows operating systems. Today, I'm going to test the first ever released Windows operating system that's released by Microsoft. And that is Windows 1. That is released in 1985. I'm going to test it. I'm going to look for all the, the applications that are on that operating system. For further details of Windows 1, watch after the intro. Let's go. Now we're going to give you some small information about Windows 1. Windows 1 is the first ever released operating system, which is released on November 20, 1985, and the end of support was December 31, 2001. And this is released by, of course, Microsoft. Mostly, the operating system runs on computers like this, so without mouse support, and later versions it's able to run it with a mouse. If you want to install Windows 1, you have to run 5 floppy disks. Windows 1 is a little bit DOS based. That involves that you have to type in comments to uh, run something. There aren't so much applications. The uh, most important applications are the clock, calendar, notepad, the writer that is comparable with Microsoft Word nowadays, and the calculator. This was only available in English. The price of the computer in that time was $100. There were also three updates of Windows 1 to improve the graphics, VGA support, mouse support, and better enchantments. So, hello, here we are on the operating system, Windows 1. Uh, you have an installation, but I skipped that because that's really boring, I think. In one video I will show you all the installation of the Windows operating system. But we are gonna test and, and try some applications of Windows 1. And I think I'm going to try all that that files that are staying on the yeah just on the drive, I think. And the first one I'm going to do that with a keyboard because with the mouse is really really not useful, I think. Uh, the most computers were and that time were only with keyboard support, not with, with, with the mouse. So uh, yeah, I'm going to use the keyboard. It's really handy. The first one is Auto X and a bad file. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a really strange file sometimes. But the next one I know that's a calculator. You can type in some sums. So. That's really handy and for if you want to calculate something. Uh, so 8 times 6 is 48. Yeah, that's right. You can drag him to the test bar, but I don't know how. Oh, oh so you, you see here the test on the test bar, the calculator. And you have the calendar. You can type in some, some appointments here and so if you're going to, from 12 o'clock to the dentist you can type in dentist there or if you're going to work on 3, uh, 3 p.m then you write in there work file save save as cal yeah, calendar oh you can multitask also i didn't know that okay card lock file I don't know what this is for uh, application, but it looks like a notepad. I want to uh, expand it. How do you do that? Uh, it's not useful. This I'm not really handy on uh, Windows One. Sorry. Oh, you can multi, 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 multitask. I don't want this. Close some application because I'm really crazy with it. Finally. And now I'm going to the clipboard. I think uh, the clipboard is just for if you uh, for the members, uh, you have to remember some notes. You have to remember, and I don't know how you use it. I have really no clue how you use this. It's really hard for a Windows 
10 user to switch to Windows Run. Clock, yeah, that, that is uh, really familiar. Just the clock. Uh, yeah, you can see the time, it's now quarter before 7. Yeah, this is taskbar. You can drag some icons here, and, and if you click on this, you can run the application. Okay, the clock comments. I think this is just a DOS. Uh, a DOS. Uh, yeah, it looks like DOS. Type in some codes where you can see what's on the drive. You can see all the dates, all the release date for Windows One. Okay, it's really hard to use this. I'm serious because every time I touch or I click on the application icon, I just multitask and I don't want that. I think I open, I dared something, but I don't want that. Control. Oh, this is the date and oh, this is a control panel, so you can uh, have here some settings and you can what you can uh, add some cursor effects if you want to. Uh, move the cursor fast or slow and you can change the date you can i think this is something of the operating system because i yeah cannot cannot run that uh this is just a text file so i think some instructions of the windows operating system let's close this hello i think some welcome instruction of windows ah finally Okay, when you drag your icon to the yeah to the screen, that's called, uh, then it will change the yeah which program you run. Start on MS DOS, Notepad. Yeah, I know that one. You can type in some cool stuff like "Hey, I am Windows Expert," and then you're gonna can you save save it uh, on the computer. Word. Not a file. Why? Because there is a space in it. Oh, then I know the one. Uh, in the earlier Windows operating systems, you can't have long file names. So that's why I can't do this. Okay, we are on the notepad. Oh, yeah, I also have paint. Paint was really simple at that time. You can, you can uh, make squares in it, squares with fill. Uh, yeah, you can also use a pencil like this and you can fill it up with the bucket yeah oh you can also make 3d fig figures yeah and you can uh add with the fill some patterns so like a brick i just need without fill when you do this you have a brick brick f uh, pattern that's really cool these are some documents, read me. I found, I think some instructions of Windows 1. As you can know, uh, Windows 1 haven't got any sound, so. Oh, this is a game, um, but I don't know how it goes. So I'm going to try it for the first time. I think you, have, you must have the most blue ones or red ones, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are of this game, so uh, I think I give up because so I don't know how this game goes. So I'm gonna close it. Some fonts. Oh, th these are the only fonts that are in this operating system. A spooler. I don't know what it is. A spooler terminal. I think for companies. These are programs that are nowadays not on the Windows operating system. Some computer stuff, I think, because there's Windows in the name. Oh, uh, this one I made. I made a uh, few few minutes ago. And further down, not so many applications because in that time, it's, in this operating system, it is really simple. They had a few applications. Yeah, you have write, so you can write a story here. So. Today I Yeah you can write something or something else and save it. I think we have run the A drive. There's nothing more I think 
is really simple and now you wonder how you shut down this computer I'm gonna show you oh yeah I, I knew it I know it already you have to go to special and then add session application is still active okay I didn't know that I can't I can't shut down that comment prompt I don't know why it says that there's something active but I don't know what I only type in there yeah I think yeah this is one of the first operating system I don't have experience with this operating system so it's more like a test thanks for watching I hope to see you later and the next video will be down the last Friday of the month and I'll see you later Thank you.